Now who's going to look after a herd of goats better than a goat father? Charles Back's legendary plays on words with the Goats de Rome family um, keeps extending itself and the goat father is the latest one. His name is Don Goaty um, and he says goats will roam, capiche? So let's see what's this made of. There's lots of surprises up this one's sleeve because it has a, an amazing blend of French and Italian grapes. Um, Sangiovese, Nebbiolo, Montverdre, Syrah, uh, Barbera. Um, it's a totally international wine. Of course, it's made in South Africa in the region where Fairview is based, which is in the Pal region, but it probably takes its grapes from a wider area. It's an inexpensive wine, so you probably get a different variety for every pound or every euro you spend in this instance. It's one of the most complex blends I've ever come across, I think. It's got a rather goaty smell to it. I don't know whether he's done this deliberately, but I smell um, something akin to the goat. I suppose that's suggestion. It also has some rather subdued wild brambly fruit. Nothing very pronounced, but um, a pleasant smell. The accent is very warm, um, very Southern Italian, although the, most of the grapes come from Central or Northern Italy, in fact. But it's, it's certainly got warmth, it's got depth, it's got lots of fruit, very low tannins, so easy to drink, you don't have to keep it. This is a wine with its screw cap is clearly destined to, to be drunk young, though of course the screw cap will keep wine very well as well. This is a wine with lots of personality, it's, um, it's for country food, I should think, uh, by a log fire with a, with a large uh, country stew, beef, mutton, lamb, whatever you have. Very, very drinkable wine, easy drinking, enjoyable wine. It's the sort of everyday house red that people would dream of if you could have or afford such an everyday house red. So um, here's to Don Goatee. Capiche?